Good afternoon. Good afternoon, fellow faculty, students, staff, administrators, trustees, and other friends of the University of South Florida system, and welcome to the 2015 fall address of USF system president Judy Genshaft. I'm Greg Teague. I serve as president of the USF System Faculty Council, a kind of meta-senate comprising mostly the leadership from the three USF System Faculty Senates. In that role, I represent the system faculty on the board of trustees and today have the very pleasant duty of introducing the USF System President. To begin with, I must point out that our president has been serving in that capacity for 15 years. That is more than twice the average time in office for sitting university presidents, a period in which the USF system has marked spectacular gains under her leadership. You know her. As noted in a recent Meet the Dean video, she herself is unstoppable. Her strength and energy and this extraordinary continuity have doubtless been significant factors in our success. Today, we can expect her to continue to celebrate the many accomplishments that faculty and students, administrators and staff have collectively accrued within this remarkable university system. This is how it should be. We take delight in the celebration. She will likely dwell less on how this exquisite sausage is made. So by way of introduction, allow me to allude to some of that. We know of Lincoln's team of rivals individuals engaged in a zero-sum personal political struggle. University presidents must welcome and manage a more abstract kind of rivalry, that among competing, but in this case, complementary institutional purposes and priorities. To name just a few, as a set of institutions, we must respond to the vocational expectations that students and governing bodies increasingly hold without failing to offer the essential but less immediately material benefits of a liberal education. Soft skills in a hard head, a full self that will bring our students success for a lifetime. A vocation properly undertaken is, after all, a calling, not just a job. And college should provide each student the chance to grow into the person who can hear that calling. As AAU President Hunter Rawlings noted in a recent op-ed piece seen here, a college degree is not a commodity. We must thrive in the marketplace without allowing the very necessary benefits of technology transfer and replacement of dwindling public support to divert attention from our primary purposes and thus lessen commitment to the integrity and quality of our work as educators and as contributors to knowledge, the arts, and more broadly to human endeavor and well-being. To the numerous indices that the world has devised to define us and track our progress, we must pay close attention and mark our achievements in their terms. But at the same time, we must remain mindful of their imperfections and omissions and maintain primary devotion to the fundamental values and purposes that any of those well-intended metrics may fail to capture. There are many other rival purposes, global imperatives and regional commitments individual excellence through independent action, and collective gains through collaboration. Any number of compelling opportunities, each with opportunity costs. This is a complex business. For this system to achieve successful balance and integration among all of these requires a president with a steady hand, a clear sense of direction, and the ability to marshal a strong team of leaders who will advocate for, but ultimately blend, those purposes in mutually beneficial teamwork, showing courage in taking risks and caution in managing them. Into this mix comes enlightened and committed leadership within the Board of Trustees with a charge to articulate USF system guiding principles, an initiative our president has embraced with characteristic gusto. Derek Bach, former president of an unquestionably preeminent university, has written that perhaps the greatest influence a president can exert is to articulate a vision, values, priorities, and direction. Our president has always provided that essential kind of hands-on direction in leading her team, and more generally in public celebration of the successes that this direction has fostered. Today, I think we will see more of this vision and how it can play out for all of us. With that in mind, please join me in giving a warm welcome to our USF System President, Dr. Judy Genshaft.
Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome everyone, students, faculty, staff, members of the Board of Trustees, friends, to the fall address. It is wonderful to be with you this afternoon as we start another academic year. And thank you so much to Dr. Greg Teague, who is the chair of the USF System Faculty Council, and for that very generous introduction. Really appreciate it so much. And thank you all who have gathered here at the Oval Theater or who are watching online for your time and attention and contributions to the USF system. As was mentioned, this is my 15th fall address as president, and each year, my pride and our accomplishments grow. This year marks many milestones for our institutions, with USF Sarasota Manatee celebrating its 40th year, USF St. Petersburg celebrating its 50th year, and in 2016, the Tampa campus will mark its 60th year. And it's also our 10th year as a collective University of South Florida system. Just recently, our history has been top of mind as we bid farewell to John Germany, who passed away last month at 92 years old. He was the last surviving founding father of USF. It was Judge Germany who teamed up with Representative Sam Gibbons and Governor Leroy Collins to push through the legislation and funding to create the fourth public university in the state, the University of South Florida, in 1956. Judge Germany believed in the power of knowledge to uplift and transform. That's why we named the park at the USF Tampa Campus Library in his honor, the John Germany Legacy Park, to keep that vision moving. At the University of South Florida, we do so many things. We educate the next generation, create new technologies, save lives, engage internationally, share knowledge with the local community, and keep art, art and culture growing and thriving. We are global citizens, yet deeply connected to the Tampa Bay region. We are driving the Tampa Bay region's economy to a powerful future, not only as one of its largest employers, but also as a research and talent powerhouse. The big picture of USF is really thousands of little pictures, a kaleidoscope of talent and creativity that constantly changes as it illuminates and transforms. And when you put the pieces together, it becomes clear that not only are we achieving our individual goals, but collectively shaping the future for the better. Think about the pillars of our university. Student success, global and community engagement, research and innovation, institutional strength, economic impact. These are not singular efforts. They are all part of a continuum that across the USF system that feed into one another and are deeply rooted in the belief that the higher education is the key to individual empowerment, community stability, and global prosperity. The USF system is truly a catalyst for the transformation we see across the Tampa Bay region. The positive change we see in our community starts with the USF system focusing on student success. Each one of the 48,793 students now enrolled in the USF system matters to us as an institution, but also to the future success of the Tampa Bay region. In the last academic year, the USF system conferred a record 12,883 graduates and undergraduate degrees. 
This fall's freshman class in Tampa has the distinction of holding the strongest academic record for an incoming class in the history of USF. With an with an average three-part SAT score of 1804 and a high school GPA of 4.08, this class allows USF to surpass yet another one of the benchmarks established by the state for preeminent research universities. As was recently noted by the Tampa Bay Times, USF has quickly risen in its standing as a top university of choice for valedictorians and salutatorians across the Tampa Bay region. We now have the largest honors college in the state of Florida. It's equally telling that this year, the Morsani College of Medicine had a huge 24% increase in applications, with 5,000 applicants vying for 170 slots. And its first year medical class, this year's first year medical students, had the highest MCAT scores in the entire state of Florida. Our six-year graduation rate remains one of the fastest rising among public research universities nationwide. Now at 67%, and when I started it was 43%, now at 67% and destined to go higher, we continue to invest in greater academic support and build a campus environment that supports and celebrates success. This year, we graduated our first class of USF College of Pharmacy students and the first ever commencement ceremony for USF health graduates. We also graduated our first international class of MUMA College of Business students at UCL University in Lima, Peru. The world is our classroom. Just ask the 97 students and seven faculty who spent their summer abroad in our very first ever USF in London program. We hope to double that enrollment next year, as well as double the faculty. USF also has a very productive academic and research partnership with the University of Exeter in England. This past summer, for the first time, a group of USF trustees met with Exeter trustees to brainstorm future opportunities for students and faculty. While many of our domestic students travel the world, we are thrilled to welcome more than 4,000 international students who will join the USF system this year. Nationally, USF is a leading university for military veterans, doing our part to empower these capable, experienced, much-needed leaders. In fact, both USF's College of Nursing and the College of Public Health were ranked number one programs for veterans nationwide. Our student athletes, 70% of our student athletes are first in their families to attend college. They had one of the highest graduation rates in the American Athletic Conference, along with postseason appearances for eight USF athletic programs. No group, however, epitomizes USF systems transformation more than one specific group of students our national scholarship winners. Did you know that in 2007, USF had just five scholarship winners nationally? Last year, we had a record number, 51. 
USF had its first Gates Cambridge Scholarship winner, Michael Calzadelia, who is studying for a graduate degree in astrophysics at Cambridge University. Like many USF students, Michael, who is from Brandon, is the first in his family to attend college. Until he came to USF, Michael had never even left the state of Florida. The USF faculty quickly recognized his brilliance and supported his efforts to apply for scholarships, research, and international experiences. As luck would have it, in England, Michael will be close to his girlfriend, Caitlin Deutsch, who is one of three USF Frost Scholarship winners in studying at Oxford University in England. Another student we came to know this year is Trang Long, who was the outstanding graduate at this summer's commencement ceremony. Trang grew up in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and her parents believed in her ability and potential so much they sold their home to pay for her education. Trang came to USF through our very successful partnership with INTO and earned an amazing list of scholarships and fellowships. She finished her undergraduate engineering degree in just three years. She's now working on her master's degree in engineering. Now think about these students from near and from far and how they were each drawn to USF and have been successfully successful so much thanks to our great faculty and staff who are devoted to keeping our students on track to succeed. We've opened the world up to our students and their talents and they are giving back to the world. As an institution, we've made strategic investments and programs that support our students' academic success. But it's also important to note that our campus community makes critical investments in our students in so many other ways. USF's online presence is expanding tremendously. From single courses to complete programs, from the new winter session and May Mester, where students can take an entire on co online course in a few weeks to blended learning opportunities, which capitalize on both face-to-face -face and online expertise. USF is poised to succeed in the virtual world as well. At the MUMA College of Business, the corporate mentorship program paired 89 first-generation college students with business leaders to guide them through professional development activities. The result? 100% of the students had a job offer at graduation. The team at Student Affairs has made a concerted effort to make USF a warmer, more engaging campus. At the start of every, every semester, you'll see legions of staff welcoming students and helping them find their way. And at finals, our staff is back out there to ease the stress with words of support snacks, and lots of encouragement. This year, our student organ organizations have led the way in building a partnership with Feeding America for on-campus food pantry for students who are hungry. <laughs> The Student Green Energy Fund has created the Shareable Bikes program for easy and free commutes across campus. And when students go on that big job interview, USF can lend them career-appropriate clothing through the suit a bowl program. <laughs> we have worked hard to preserve access and opportunities across the USF system. We've had no tuition increases and no fee increases, with a focus on helping students limit and manage their debt. The bottom line, 
We want our students to know we are 100% beside them every step of the way. Talent is a key to our future, and that is most apparent when you consider our accomplishments as a research university. Most of the, one of the most anticipated annual markers of our rise as a research university is our annual total of grants and contracts. In 2000, just shortly after I joined USF, the annual research total was a very respectable $101.3 million. Today, I'm very proud to announce the new system total, $440,577,680. This figure represents an incredible amount of work by our faculty, staff, and students on both the graduate and undergraduate level. Our climb to 43 among public and private research universities, our standing as a global leader in patents is a result of our unwavering focus on our research engine. The most powerful means to impact the future is to create a culture of discovery and innovation that leverages talent to solve problems. Our research is meaningful. It differentiates us from all other universities. It is a life-altering phenomenon across the university system. Let me give you some examples. USF's College of Nursing is delving deep into saving premature newborns under the challenges of cancer survivors and, cre and creating a better model to serve the elderly in traditionally underserved communities. Meanwhile, a revolutionary therapy developed at nursing to treat post-traumatic stress disorder is emerging as a promising treatment available to veterans across the Tampa Bay region, all the way to the Walter Reed Army Hospital in Maryland. At USF St. Petersburg, Dr. James McHale continues to produce groundbreaking work in the area of infant mental health. This summer, McHale received a National Institute of Health grant for nearly $3 million for research into building stronger and healthier environments for babies born into fragile families. This life-changing effort is at the heart of a new partnership between USF St. Petersburg and All Children's Hospital, Johns Hopkins Medicine, to establish the Center for Infant Family Mental Health. In the College of the Arts, faculty member Andrew Carroll produced his third video, Employing Dance to Confront, confront Social Issues, the latest focused on suicide prevention in a video that has been viewed all over the world. At the College of Marine Science, researchers won an impressive $20 million grant to continue examining the lingering impact of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. At the College of Behavioral and Community Sciences, Drs. Lori Friedell and Wesley Jennings, with graduate student Matthew Lynch, have produced nationally recognized work on police body cameras and policing bias. Their expertise proved to be timely and relevant as the nation struggles with how to create safer communities. At USF Sarasota Manatee, Dr. Jody McBrien and student Ashley Metellus has repeatedly traveled to Uganda to chronicle the stories of tens of thousands of women and children who have endured one of the world's most brutal wars. Across USF Health, faculty and students have teamed up with Stetson Law School to help military veterans fight for their disability benefits. And these are just a few examples 
of the research and community engagement that makes a difference in the world and defines us and the USF system. But it doesn't stop there. New this year is the USF Institute for Advanced Discovery and Innovation, which engages National Academy members living both in Tampa Bay and around the country in our classrooms and labs. For the fifth year in a row, USF ranked among the top universities in the world generating new United States patents. And did you know this amazing fact? The Florida High Tech Corridor, which is University of South Florida, University of Florida, and University of Central Florida, now generates more patents than the famed Research Triangle in North Carolina. Patents are the start of the new process of creating new products, industries, and jobs. And we have, USF has on the market developed right here 57 products that we've developed. And there are nine new therapeutic drugs in phase two clinical trials, an important step in bringing new treatments to the public. One of the most exciting developments this year was the naming of USF by the National Science Foundation as an innovation core site, or often heard of as i core site. And we are one of 36 institutions nationwide. And with this prestigious de designation, we will help teach what it takes to successfully transfer knowledge into products and processes. USF also earned the American Public and Land Grant University's national designation as an innovation and economic prosperity university. We're just the second university in Florida to receive this honor that recognizes our impact on our region's economy. Our student, our student innovation incubator is now selecting its third class of new companies, while its 24 initial student-founded companies continue to benefit from services and mentorship of 200 CEOs willing to help the next generation of entrepreneurs. The real-world application of our discoveries and technologies shows us how our intellectual power can spark new opportunities. One especially exciting venture has been the Florida Center for Cybersecurity, known as FC Squared, which was created just two years ago. FC Squared this year earned a National Center of Academic Excellence designation from the National Security Agency and Department of Homeland Security. And FC Squared has forged partnerships with leading institutions such as J.P. Morgan Chase, which recently provided a $300,000 grant to fast track the training of newly retired military personnel as cybersecurity persons, pers people, pers professionals. Each one of these projects supports our reputation as a research university, but also our credibility as a public institution effectively using resources to serve the greater good. This year, again, USF had an impressive showing in the Board of Governors performance-based funding model which has become the standard accountability for Florida. In the past three years, USF has ranked either first or second among Florida's universities. Our continued high achievement sends a very important message to the people of Florida. Their investment 
is well placed in us. As you may know, this past year also marked the culmination of two years of preparation for USF Tampa's accreditation, reaccreditation review from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. When the SACS team sat down with me and other institutional leaders to, de to deliver their report, there was not one single criticism, not one recommendation. To me, that was the equivalent of an A+. <laughs> It's really virtually something that's unheard of in an, at an institution as large and as complex as, as ours is. There, this was a true team effort that encapsulated the essence of our university's mission, vision, and values. We also celebrated the reaccreditation of the Morsani College of Medicine by the Liaison Committee of Medical Education. This is a rigorous review to ensure the college is meeting the highest national standards. And just a few weeks later, the USF College of Pharmacy earned its first full accreditation from the Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education, making a huge milestone for this young program and major endorsement for its innovative brand of education. And we also congratulate USF Sarasota Manatee College of Education for earning its separate national accreditation for the first time as well. <laughs> the outside validation matters. It gives people confidence in investing and partnering within the USF system. We had a very successful legislative session this year with the USF system leading the state university system in Florida in, in seeing its construction projects funding, funded, being funded. Several key priorities, such as the USF St. Petersburg Kate Tiedemann College of Business and the downtown Morsani College of Medicine, received significant resources during a challenging budget session in Tallahassee. I want to thank our Tampa Bay Area Legislative Delegation, which spoke with one voice in support of the USF system. And thank you to the Florida Legislature and to the Governor for endorsing our projects. These projects will elevate the communities we serve and create new opportunities. And because the wider community understands and believes in the transformative power of the USF system, we've had another record of giving to the unstoppable campaign. This is amazing. In the last year, the USF Foundation has raised an astonishing $130 million. This means that the $1 billion campaign we launched less than two years ago has already reached $864 million. Our endowment has reached $420 million, and with that, our financial security and institution can dream bigger and bolder than ever before. In the last 12 months, we have celebrated gifts resulting in the naming of the Kate Tiedemann College of Business at USF St. Petersburg, the MUMA College of Business, the Zimmerman School of Advertising and Mass Communications, and the Lynn Pippinger School of Accountancy. Less than two weeks ago, we had an another incredible gift from Baron and Dana Collier 
of $10.85 million to support student success in the MUMA College of Business. What is equally worth celebrating is that most of the recent gifts came from USF alumni who care about education and believe in giving back. Our great friend and benefactor, Frank Morsani, says it best. First, you learn. Next, you earn. Then, you return. This year, USF St. Petersburg is now able to begin construction of its new Kate Tiedemann College of Business, allowing it to shine more brightly as a dynamic institution on a vibrant waterfront. As the only residential campus in the city, USF St. Petersburg students and faculty are actively driving a cultural and, and educational renaissance that is nothing short of spectacular. Thanks to the USF Foundation, who purchased an, adja an adjacent property, USF St. Pe Petersburg will be able to expand its science and technology facilities. USF Sarasota Manatee completed its strategic plan in the last year and now is on its way to achieving its goals of offering the highest quality of advanced education programs for its community. The institution also received approval from the Florida Board of Governors to fully support its freshman and sophomore enrollment, allowing for greater course offerings in the future. As I mentioned before, this year marks a decade since we have operated as one cohesive USF system. For the first half of this year, the USF System Task Force took on the big question of what does it mean for us to be a system? How can we maximize that collaboration? We can leverage our combined assets provide cost-effective services, and be a model for effective regionalism, which we all know is greatly needed throughout Tampa Bay. Forging a more cohesive system requires us to intentionally shape our culture into one based on shared values and accomplishments. The task force had a number of meetings, conversations, and observation and condense them into a set of memorable guiding principles, all under one name, bullish. What does it mean to be bullish in the USF system? Let me tell you. It means being B, bold. We look for innovations and solutions to world's most challenging problems. U, for united. We are stronger together and seek new ways to maximize efficiencies. L, for leaders, we nurture talent and value opportunities to develop professionally. L, loyal, we treat each other with respect, trust, integrity for the good of the system. I, impactful. We make a difference with our community ties and global citizenship. S, student-centric. Student success is at the center of all we do. H, high quality. We deliver quality service to students, faculty, staff, employers, members of our communities. Throughout the next year, there will be a number of bullish activities that will involve faculty, staff, and students as we continue our work toward a more cohesive USF system. Additionally, there are several new operational initiatives that are underway for the years 2015 and 2016. One initiative is Responsibility Centered Management, or RCM for the Tampa campus budgeting process. RCM is a budget model which individual units are directly responsible for the revenues and costs generated within their operations. 
This will provide more transparency, efficiency, and a deeper understanding of budgeting across the campus. RCM is an evolving process, and the first complete phase will be implemented on July 1, 2016. Deans, chairs, faculty, and staff from all over campus have been involved in this process. Another initiative involved in the coming year involves our Office of Research, Innovation, and Economic Development. A review by the Huron Group of our current research model offered several helpful recommendations related to indirect cost reimbursements, and we established a research advisory committee to focus on aligning resources with responsibilities. USF Health is proud of the quality of care provided to the community. With the implementation of a new information management system called EPIC, USF Health will further strengthen its ability to provide the best and most efficient care. The USF Physicians Group is continuing to enhance its business practices, which is a key touch point in serving the community. Additionally, we will see the development of new strategic plans from USF Research, USF Health, USF Athletics, the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and Equal Opportunity, and the College of Engineering, all important pillars of our system. We are continuing to work hard on one of the largest and most comprehensive public-private partnerships anywhere in the state of Florida that would transform outdated housing on the Tampa campus and bring it into a vibrant student village and would add approximately 1,100 1, new beds. We are working diligently with the Florida Board of Governors and await their approval on this project. While we are engaged in this process, be assured that new student housing is in USF's future. <laughs> this new academic year will be one of great changes and new beginnings. At this time last year, we were just beginning to picture USF in a new context as part of the incredible redevelopment planned by Tampa Bay Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick, who is donating the land needed to co-locate the Morsani College of Medicine and the Heart Institute in this exciting new urban core. This is the biggest project our community has seen in more than a generation, and with the support of the Florida Board of Governors and the legislature and the governor, it's going to happen. While the Tampa Bay region cities are on the move, the area surrounding the Tampa campus has a hopeful path ahead. The idea for the Tampa Innovation Alliance was launched right here at the fall address last year, and we are excited it's beginning to take shape. With a $2 million investment, from Hillsborough County. The Innovation District is already home to some of the largest and most important institutions in our region, Bush Gardens, Moffitt Cancer Center, Florida Hospital, the Haley VA, Mosey, and of course, the University of South Florida. And this is a very impressive fact. The Innovation District has nearly 49,000 workers in its area. That's more than the downtown of, of Tampa, 49,000 workers. Now we need to develop a plan to maximize the impact of USF and its neighbors to spur the investment and to help our area revitalize and thrive. Our leadership in the region matters. People look to us to set the standard 
and our institutions are gateways to the future. Beginning this spring, all USF campuses will be tobacco-free. <laughs> Policy changes are in, pl in planning now for USF Tampa to join the campuses in USF St. Petersburg and USF Sarasota Manatee as completely tobacco-free. As part of our commitment to help students, faculty, and staff who wish to quit using tobacco, the university will offer free cessation resources for those who are interested. Our people are our greatest resource, and creating a healthy environment is an important part of our mission. We have a big year ahead and new challenges and goals to meet. Everyone's efforts is important. And I hope you see how every individual across the USF system contributes to the greater vision of the future. As a system, we've connected the dots, student success, research and innovation, institutional strength, economic impact and community impact. Every effort feeds into one another. In a world where the single most important asset any community has is talent, anything you do to cultivate, grow, support, and expand talent leads to a brighter future for people here and far beyond our campus's boundaries. That's what's special about universities. They harness the transformative power of talent. That's what's special about the USF system. Take a moment, look at the people around you who make a difference because you all make a difference. It's always that extra effort that drives our success. And that's what makes the University of South Florida system the greatest place to be anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. This is the big picture of USF. Thank you for being part Thank you for being part of this system, for all that you do, and for being part of this very special experience. And as always, go Bulls! <laughs>